Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's meeting. Waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Protecting his head well with his guard. Big's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. That right hand over the top, Lance Flush. Wow, is he defensively sound. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Six coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Evander Holyfield just decided to bring it. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Followed by the straight by Evander Holyfield. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And that's the end of round. Get away from some of those punches, but there's a problem, a big problem, like with anything else. How are you going to start changing it if you haven't been taught differently? I don't know that he knows the answer. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Nice block by Big. Not an accurate look at all. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Good work toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Up and down, side to side. One, two, one, two. There you go. A solid left hand by Biggs. Here today, round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. And an excellent uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities Opportunities, not on the front end, but on the back end. And a punishing hook by Big. Nice work with the jab on the outside. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. And as this round... They're letting everything go in every punch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And he's holding. He's committed to that left hand, and it's working out. Solid right by Big. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Able to show you his blocking ability. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Evander Holyfield. And now they're trading blows. How to do anything. 
nothing, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're going to see more of the same. Rushing uppercut by Evander Holyfield. Scores with the combo to the head. Biggs being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. Did you see that? What a powerful hook to the head by Big. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. In a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Nice work with the overhand right. He scores with the jab. And he just holds on there at the halfway point of round seven. He missed with that headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A solid uppercut by Big. Holyfield's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. He's taken some damage, Teddy. Yeah, it's been a good day for him, but there's been some clouds. And it's raining a little bit. He just has to worry that it doesn't start raining harder. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Hook. Hook. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Big. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. That's a good left hand by Evander Holyfield. Big's able to avoid that punch. A well-placed left hand up top. Big so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Good work defensively by Big. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out like putting a sign on him. So here's the red target. Good scoring counter punch by Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he can score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And as long as you haven't given up on yourself, you always have a chance where one punch can separate that guy Unload. from his consciousness. Unload. more punches. Back to the body. Flush right hand to the head. Good uppercut by Big. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. What were you hearing out of his training camp as to how he got so conditioned? Well, we were hearing that he was doing his low work wearing knapsacks with 20 pounds of sand with him, running uphill. I mean, that's one of them. Also, instead of taking minutes rest and sparring, he was taking 20 seconds, 30 seconds rest. It's showing right now. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work. Five, big. Halfway through this 10th and final round. Strike after catching one by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield blocks that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Big. Evander Holyfield's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves 
he needs to extend them just a little bit away so as you said those punches you know are going to force their way through to the target which they're doing right now they're getting down to it they're getting through to it